next question uh, this is from the chapter units and dimensions which of the following combinations has the dimensions of electrical resistance epsilon not is the permittivity of vacuum and mu not is the permeability of vacuum four options are given root of mu not by epsilon not option a option b mu not by epsilon not option c root of epsilon not by mu not option d epsilon not by mu not okay this is a question given see this this question was asked in je mains 2019 one of the papers in one of the papers it was asked we see how to do this problem in a very simple way we want to do it in a very formal way straightforward formal way means you will have to know the dimension for epsilon not dimension for mu not raise it to power x uh, uh, then raise it to power y and then right side you write the dimension of r then uh, find the value of x and y and uh, we will have to solve that's the usual method right even um, one of the earlier videos we have done like that but it will be little long because if first of all you should know dimension of epsilon not what is epsilon not epsilon not permittivity of free space epsilon not see whenever we do problems let's not just stick to the problem alone and proceed because there is no guarantee that same question is going to be repeated so it's better you learn uh, things related to that also while you solve the current problem okay so epsilon not is known as permittivity of free space 8.85 into 10 to the power of minus 12 farad per meter mu not permeability of free space 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 tesla meter per ampere okay so uh, you are given all these options what will be the direct method direct method uh, epsilon not dimension of epsilon not say raised to power x dimension of mu not raised to power y left side dimension of r raised uh, keep as it is then uh, simplify then find the value of x and y you'll get the uh, equation simultaneous equations you will have to solve for x and y that is a formal method but other than that if you are very good in uh, the concepts see this being a question on dimension so you can use any formula having or involving those dimensions whether the formula which you are writing really is there or not don't worry dimension wise you proceed you should know a formula dimension wise it has to be correct you should know a formula involving mu not you should know a formula involving epsilon not you should know a formula involving r then do some kind of a manipulation and see whether it is coming in any one of the four options given right i said already this may be an informal way but it will be simple because this is dimension the uh, what is to say that the, the trueness of the formula need not be checked simply dimensionally if you know some formula being correct all formula which we are using will be dimensionally correct so you can simply pull this way that way and manipulate right just see here you know you should uh, know a formula involving resistance so i just say v is equal to ir right r is a resistance you want to find the dimension of resistance so just keep it as resistance itself v by i what is v voltage do you know induced emf is blv see gradually i am bringing b here 
I will write as it is. So, B L Of course, you think of a simple formula for B, that will be easier. Mu naught, because there is I here, maybe I by 2R for B. It's only dimension, no? So use any formula. So dimension of B will be same as dimension of Mu naught I by R, dimension of. So for B, I am using this. Right? Once again I repeat, because it is dimensions, I am using only the related formula. This is, I am taking this voltage as induced EMF, this current I for B mu naught I by 2 R, LV by I. I and I will go. So, mu naught by 2 R, L, V I am using 1 by root of mu naught epsilon naught that is speed of light 1 by root mu naught epsilon naught I take this V to be speed of light I told you already this is all about dimensions L I wrote as it is V also I wrote as it is this is I here this I this I will cancel mu naught L by 2 R I wrote here this V you know this um, this V actually we wrote for this voltage BLV which is motional EM formula, this V velocity. So any velocity formula I can use because dimension wise it will tally. So I am using the expression for velocity of light 1 by root mu naught epsilon naught in free space. Is it clear? That's all. Now you see dimension wise L and R will cancel, dimension wise, both will have same dimension. Now you see this, mu naught is mu naught half into mu naught half by mu naught half here into epsilon naught half. One mu naught half you can cancel. So this is simply root of mu naught by epsilon naught. What is there on the left side? Resistance. So dimension of resistance should be same as dimension of root of mu naught by epsilon naught. What is the advantage of the method? You don't have to know the dimension of mu naught, dimension of epsilon naught, dimension of R. Otherwise, you'll have to be breaking your heads. Because usually in 11th standard, we uh, generally don't study the dimensions of all electrical quantities or even thermal quantities in uh, 11th standard generally. Okay, some will study exceptionally, that is different. Generally in 11th and 12th, um, we don't pay so much attention to dimensions of electrical quantities, magnetic quantities, um, thermal quantities, of course, no thermal quantities here. So in case if you do not know, moreover, this is MCQ. So, use some formula here and there. Just bring them, just collect them, manipulate them, divide, multiply, do see whether you are getting the required quantity. That's what has been done here. What is the net outcome? Very, very simple method. Is it clear? So problems, for this problem it has worked out like that. Sometimes you may not have the um, formulas being combined or you may not be able to create such a formula which is dimensionally valid. But here it is possible. So the answer is option A. Understood? Thank you.